In this particular video, the use case is sending a survey to customers when a job is complete. But keep in mind that if you need to trigger emails to be sent from Airtable on any set of conditions or criteria, this could be applied to your use case as well. This is part four of a six part video series where I explain how to build out an NPS survey for your business using very inexpensive tools and potentially free tools depending on your volume in the business. Hey, welcome back to the channel. If this is the first video that you're watching, my name is Chris. I'm from Boolean. We are a consulting company that specializes in working with painting companies to automate the data flow and the processes inside their business. Most of our clients were able to eliminate 80% of the data entry in their business while improving reporting, giving them more instantaneous you know, results and dashboards to look at so that they can grow and scale more effectively. I will also tell you, if you are a company less than a million dollars, you're probably not a good consulting client for us, but you're gonna get a ton of value out of this YouTube channel. If you're above two, $3 million, we'd love to chat and see how we can help. I mean, you can schedule a free discovery call down below, but without further ado, let's keep going and working through this, this automation. So we now have our project management system set up. We added our NPS surveys here. And now we need to build an automation that is going to automatically send an email. So this is one of the nice things about Airtable is that you can build automations uh, right in here. And I will tell you, if you're looking at doing this for free, it allows you to run 100 automations per month. So depending on your size, just keep that in mind. However, if you need more than that, it costs $20 a month to get 25,000 automations, which is pretty hard to uh, to lever to use for a painting company, but it is potentially free to do this if you have a small enough business. So here we go in the project management here. The way the automation works is I like to have when a record matches certain conditions. So depending upon whether or not you're doing all of your project management in Airtable or you're just doing your NPS survey, there's a couple of different ways you could do that. But I like the when record matches condition conditions. And what we're going to do because I recommend doing all of your project management inside of Airtable, is you can build out a base like this. And we have the name, so start date, complete date. And I, I like having, I'm gonna put one more box in here that we are going to call work complete, with the idea being that when a crew leader finishes the job, we are going to check the box and say the work is now done. So in the automations tab, if you think about this, the criteria that we would want to have met in order to send that email would be that the work complete box is checked. You could also do this based on like, if once the day is complete, you know, send that. The other thing is you could literally um, have a box here that's called send NPS uh, survey or something like that. But by checking the work complete, that's what we're going to use to trigger. So what we're going to do here is say, when the projects table and the conditions match work complete is checked. So when work complete is checked, that's going to trigger it. So right now, if I click choose record, the record is not selected. So there's not going to show anything. But if I check that box and I click choose record, there we go. It's showing that that's correct. And so then the next action that I'd want to have take taken is to send an email. So I recommend you can do the, the Airtable email. I like doing it from my actual email so that it's coming from an email that the customer would have received from before. And so we're going to uh, use this and I'm gonna label this send email to customer with NPS survey. And we're going to connect a Gmail account which I think is the one I did before. I'll show you if you need to connect a new one, we can connect a new Gmail account. It's going to ask you to log in and click continue. And there we go. So now we have our next Gmail account there set up. That's perfect. And we're the to field here, who are we going to send this to? In the database over here, we need to have the a customer field in our customer or in this current base right here, we don't have the customer email, but in the contacts table, we do have an email here for Chris at Boolean review, but it's not showing on the projects table. So this is another thing that's super powerful about Airtable is that you can associate or relate database records to other database records. 
And because I have associated Chris Kiefer with that other database, I can actually go in here and add lookup fields and add in the email that's associated with that contact. So I go, and maybe I want to grab the first name also. So I go ahead and put that in there. And now it says, Chris Kiefer, the first name of the record is Chris and the email is Chris at Boolean. So now back in the automation here, I can say, I want to send an email to, and then grab this box here. And we want the record, let's go find the email from customer. And we want it to be the value that is in that. So take the email from the customer and we want the subject of this to be, please tell us how we did. And then in the message, I can say, hey, and then let's grab the customer's first name. So I say first name. And by the way, I just want to take a second to say, if this is valuable or you're learning from this, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. And if you want to just get the base that I created, you can sign up in the email or submit your email down below and I will send this to you. The automation piece, you actually have to build out on your own regardless. When you copy bases, it does not uh, transfer the automation piece. So this that I'm showing you right now, you would have to do these steps, but everything else up to this point, I'll send you this complete version and you can take this and run with it. I do think that the videos in earlier in this series are valuable because it's nice to know how things work if you need to troubleshoot or customize it further. But I just want to say that I create content for free. Obviously, some clients choose to work with us, but my goal, I'm coming from this place of abundance. I'm trying to learn as much as I can and share and package everything that I'm learning into bite-sized implementable videos. So please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, we'll keep going here. So I can say, hey, first name, we enjoyed working on your project and our customer satisfaction is paramount. Please fill out this brief two question survey to tell us how we did. And then I do this again, and I'm going to take the link that we created, survey for customer. And again, because I the way I selected that, this is dynamic. So it's the link for this person that's going to get sent to them. And I can now say, thanks for your trust in our people. And I'll sign my name. So there's the message. And then we can test this. So generate a preview. And let's see what the preview looks like. So it says we ran into an error. What is the error? Uh, the two field is blank. So we did something wrong on the two field here. We want to edit this and we want to take the, we want the email from customer and we want the value of that. Let's go check the data that we're pulling in. So we do have an email from the customer. It is valid. And if we look at the automation here, so we've selected a record, that's good. Now for sending the email, source preview is, so it's telling us it is Chris at Boolean. Let's try one more time, generate a preview. There we go. So uh, maybe it just needed uh, to refresh that. We do have Chris at Boolean, please tell us how we did. And there we go. So let's go ahead and actually run this and send it to us. So we run a test and it sends an email. And if I open up my email, Here's the email that I just got. So I can go fill this link out. If you remember, I already uh, had filled out the link before, so it actually saved my answers. So if you send this link to somebody, all everything that I had put in previously, so you can see here in the Airtable database, my answers are all in here. So when I'm clicking through this for the second time, they all fill out or they all show what I already submitted. Keep in mind, if I were to delete this, and now I refresh this survey. So I click again because it's showing the record in there. Now there's not going to be anything in the form. So I can click again, five stars, a 10 definitely recommend and we're done. Um, and then if we go back to the table, you can see those responses came in just as we expected. The last thing when it comes to automations that I always like to point out is I like to know, so we, there, I like a feedback loop on did this work? How do we know that uh, the customer got the email or when did they get the email? So what I like doing is adding one more field in here that's called 
NPS survey send date. And then we're just gonna make this a text field. And back in the automation here, we are going to go to automation and then add one more step here that's gonna say update record. And on this one, we want to, we're gonna call this update uh, project record with send date details. And I could say here, I'm writing it to the project. The record ID that I'm gonna use is going to be the Airtable record ID that we're that kicked this whole thing off. And the field that I want to update is NPS survey send date. And what we wanna put in here is, in order to get that actual date, there's one more thing we need to do here, which is last modified time. And then we look up last modified, whoops, that's by, we want last modified time and click create. And so now when the automation runs, we want to take for the field, we're filling out this NPS survey date. We want to take the last modified time timestamp and write it to the NPS send date. So if we test this one more time and click run as configured, we're going to run the test and then it's telling us, or let's do the whole thing. So if we go in here and keep in mind that the way this is going to work is when a record matches conditions and the work, uh, the box is checked, it's going to send it. So inside here, if I go to that work complete box and I uncheck, now I'm going to check the box and you'll see over here that the automation is going to run and boom, there it sent, there's a timestamp of when the survey was sent. So now I know. Um, and if I check my email, uh, we can see uh, just now got another survey link and there we go. So that's, that's how you do it. That is the uh, part number five, or sorry, this was uh, part four. In the next video, I'm going to be explaining now, so we've done all this. How do you get your information from your CRM or project management system into Airtable. So I'm going to show you how to do that in the next video. So stick around and uh, again, like the video, subscribe to the channel. We are here at Boolean to free you up, do what you love. We'll see you in the next video.